kitchen with Adzi. Now, a bit excited about this. Uh, I got one of these air fryers uh, a couple of weeks ago from uh, the old girl, Shop Mummy, if you're watching. Um, so I'm going to do something I have done before but in uh, deep fried oil. So what these are are pork chops and these have been marinating for a few days in a double smoke marinade. I did leave the skin on. You probably could take it off if you choose to. Um, we sell the herb and garlic ones at McNabb Brothers, but if you want to just get plain pork chops and put pretty much what flavors you like on your pork chops. I like these ones. So without further ado, I'll just got to wash my hands first. Always got to wash your hands in Azzy's kitchen. Now, I had this idea where, because I've done this sort of before, so I'm going to put some flour in here and coat these so they get a nice little um, texture on the pork. Nice crispy texture. Okay? About that much flour. I don't think it's relevant what flour. Um, and I've just got some panko crumbs lying in the pantry. So I'm going to chuck them on. And I'll salt and pepper this flour. So it's seasoned flour. And pretty much I'm just gonna um, dump the, I'll need a little bit more, I can dump the pork chops um, straight in the flour and then the air fryer. Now I do want them to stick, so I might give them a little coating of olive oil before I stick them on there. So uh, just salt and pepper that, sorry guys. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Um, I'm still learning how to use an air fryer, so I'll probably, well, probably check it every um, five minutes. And I'll go about 200 degrees on it. So season the flour in there. So pretty simple. I'm just going to put olive oil on the pork chops, bang them in the flour. Oh, they look good. And then I'm just going to bang them in the air fryer. Now I've only got a 3.5 air fryer, so looks like I'm going to have to do batches. Mum, next time you're buying me, buy in bulk! Sorry about that, I'm getting a bit excited. Um, next one, olive oil on there and straight into the flour once again. Oh, I'm very excited for this. Alright, let's turn this dog around. There we go. Straight into the air fryer now, guys. Wash your hands once again. It's a messy job, but it will be rewarding. Now, 200 degrees, about 10 minutes, then we're going to check them and flip them. Now, I haven't gone out to the shops. Don't know what I'm going to have on the side with it, but I'll be back. Stay tuned. Oh, look at that. So that's the other one, um, just waiting for room in there. Wish I had a bigger air fryer. We just found some little Coles French fries. Just gonna put them in the oven. I know what you're thinking, if I had more room, I would've put them in the air fryer because the air fryer does the best chips, apparently. But I'm hungry and I wanna eat the next half an hour. Let's chuck them in the oven. Um, Any seasoning or? Yeah, I'm just, Salt Bay, what is that? <laughs> so, let me give it a little toss. Oh, it's just a lazy Sunday, guys. Um, look at that. Probably eat you, I'm 200. The packet says about 12 minutes. I say about 16. Always want them crispy. All right, just going to check it now. It was 10 minutes. I don't think it'll be time to flip it, but look at what it's doing there. So, I'm going to go another five minutes and flip it on the other side. I'm so hungry, it's time to cook. Turn the pork chops. I am so hungry, it's time to cook. Turn the pork chops. So it's time to turn the pork chops. It's been 15 minutes. Have a look at those suckers. <laughs> they look really good. We're just going to give them a turn. 
and they smell so good. Give them a turn, put the 15 minutes back on. We can sit back, relax. I am so hungry. So the timer went off, I was outside, so it looks like Golden. We're having some crispy, crispy couple of burnt edges, but they're good. Also, these, oh, they smell amazing. They look, take them out, swap this dog over here like that. They actually look real good. Bang in there, 15 minutes, 15 minutes on the other one. I let it rest for about five minutes, cut it up, and we're gonna get into Adzi's review. So here's the review. Um, don't get too concerned because that marinade will have a lot of sugar in it, yeah. so that's why it is dark. But I'm just gonna go in for it now, guys. Uh, it's absolutely yeah. bucketing down outside, and we'll show you later. But I'm gonna come over and I didn't give you a little crunch test and see what it's like. Mm. Wow. And that fire is definitely a goer. I probably cooked it for, for, I don't know, four or five minutes too long. But the flavour in there is unbelievable. We're going to dive straight into the pork now. Wow. Huh. Love a good pork chop. No sauce on it? No sauce at all. Just enjoying the flavours. A little bit of little chips. I stuffed them up a little bit, but... Look at that. If you didn't want to get a whole pork roast for your family, there's just a couple of this. Get some pork chops with the skin on. Do exactly what I did. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe. Uh, I've got a few things coming, so stay tuned. Oh, it turns the music off. Wake up and get the dog. You gotta get after it when you're eating good, right?